Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and we're once again back in the downtown Las Vegas Arts District at local hotspot Taverna Costera for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. With almost a dozen performers scheduled to perform, this promised to be a well-stocked night of great music and fun. So come on, everyone, and let's all head... <laughs> you know what? This bit's getting old. I'm done with it. Don't ask me to do it anymore. I mean it. Okay, fine. To the Room 6 mobile. Are you happy? This video is brought to you by Music Today. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. A great place for local art and artists to show off their wares, Taverna Costera is also known as a place where the food is great, the signature cocktails are delicious, and the staff and atmosphere are amazing. You owe it to yourself to drop by Taverna Costera if you get the chance. If you'd like to be featured on a future showcase, contact Hal Savar using his social media handle that I put down in the description. That's also where you'll find the social media handles for all the acts featured in this video. If you'd like to be featured on Room 6, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down there as well. While you're at it, feel free to like, share, subscribe, all the good things to help me grow the channel and uh, its support of the local music scene. Thanks! Opening up the show this time was J.W. Reynolds, a songwriter quickly becoming a showcase favorite. Pulling a whole lot of sound out of his 12-string guitar, J.W. immediately launched a set full of tongue-in-cheek lyrics, hidden behind a soulful sound, steeped in folk elements, and rooted in sardonic wit. It was a great start to the night, and we look forward to his next visit to the showcase. Up next was David Wax, an OG showcase alumni. A solid songwriter, David blends the vocal stylings of Elvis Costello with the musicality of artists like James Taylor into a sound all his own, building chord progressions on his guitar in a way that transports the listener to the moments he's singing about, he once again set the bar high for all acts to follow. Following David was the amazing Cam Elise, the first of multiple teenage songwriters of the night, and a recent Room 6 interview guest, so stay tuned for that. Like every teen act of the night, Cam's music embodies the adage of having an old soul, making great use of dynamics to drive each song forward. She fearlessly navigated her own fusion of genres like pop, rhythm and blues, and soft rock. As John Franks said in the chat of the live stream, if this was a baseball game, we have seen three home runs in a row. Changing things up a little, next on stage was Mitchell Kane. With the help of a backing track, Mitchell began laying out his musical stories full of hard-earned wisdom and cautionary tales for the young. They say you should write what you know, and Mitchell's songs are a great example of that. With just the right amount of raspiness in his voice, he managed to land somewhere in the middle of Johnny Cash and Tom Waits, and we loved it. The brother duo of Liam and Dylan were up next, doubling the fun for everyone. I've reviewed these two incredible young musicians multiple times in the past and interviewed them, and quite frankly, I've run out of superlatives to describe how wonderfully they work together on stage. Playing music with someone for most of your life yields dividends, and it definitely shows when this pair take the spotlight. Though they have fun with the crowd, their music is serious business, full of songs all about heartbreak and hope. Like all the acts featured in this video, you owe it to yourself to check them out live if you get the chance. Next up was Alina, our second teen phenom of the night. With music ranging from a slow-burning love song to fun and upbeat pop tunes ready for the radio, the crowd enjoyed an obvious passion for songwriting mixed with the slight frenetic energy of youth. Like Camelise and the other younger performers of the night, Alina left us older musicians wondering why we didn't get started making music a lot earlier in our lives. Coming up next was Alina's sister, Gianna Shea. Just like Liam and Dylan, Gianna proved that talent can definitely run in the family. Though the two sisters sound similar due to genetics, they both had their own styles. As Gianna's voice rang out loud and clear over melodies reminiscent of classic acts like Jim Croce and more modern acts like Ed Sheeran, the audience also got treated to a final song featuring both sisters as a duet, and it was awesome. Next up to bat was Alexis Ryan, the final teen of the night and another showcase favorite. Keeping the trend going of playing beyond your years, 
Alexis navigated us away from the strongly pop-influenced music of her peers into slightly more troubled waters populated by such influences like Kurt Cobain, Paula Cole, and Melissa Etheridge. With songs full of turmoil, yet also tinged with hope, her set was a great example of using music to explore all the corners of yourself, no matter what's hiding there. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. Want to take your music career to the next level? Or maybe you just want to get some sweet merch from your favorite artists on the cheap. MusicToday.com has you covered. With over 300,000 square feet of warehouse and distribution space located in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Arkansas, MusicToday.com can help you achieve your full revenue potential using omnichannel commerce and fancy words like synergistic brand experience. Just for watching this video and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get massive clearance savings on special and hard to find items you probably can't find anymore. Thanks to MusicToday.com for being a sponsor and let's get back to the show. After Alexis was Spencer Hinton, front person for the band Kook and member of the band Elevated Undergrounds and a Room 6 alumni. Spencer writes music one might call transformative. That would be me. And this performance was no different. A well-traveled individual, it's obvious that multiple musical influences fight for dominance in Spencer's heart. One moment, upbeat and coy, the next, heartbreakingly sad and starring in a French love story, it all resolves into an artist that gives everything they have on stage and isn't afraid to change things up, whether we're talking about time signatures in the middle of a song or the entire musical genre. It's always so special when Spencer performs, and I hope we'll see more of them sometime in the future soon. Following Spencer is a tough act, but luckily up next were two members of the band Chalmer. It's been a minute since Chris Massa and Chalmer Harper have graced the showcase stage, but we're so glad they stopped by. Between Chris's guitar noodling and solos, and Chalmer's powerhouse vocals and emotional songwriting, they never fail to be a hit when they play live. Every song they play takes the listener on a trip full of twists and turns, but ultimately ends up in a great place. Finishing things off for the night was Sufi, who's closed out more than one of the showcases in the past. Joined this time by three other musicians, Sufi set Flip the Script on the night by introducing some keyboard and cajon drum to the event. As their music backed her up, Sufi crooned songs of love and strength to power, and each tune was made even more special with the knowledge that her fiancé was literally flying back to town as she performed. How do I know? He was on the live stream and in the chat during their set. I can only assume they had a great rest of the evening once he landed. Overall, the latest installment of the Taverna Costera Songwriter Showcase, hosted by Hal Savar, went great. I sincerely can't wait for the next one on Thursday, April 11th, and I hope we'll see you there as well. If you can't make it in person, hop on the live stream, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope we'll see you either in person or on the live stream at the next Songwriter Showcase at Taverna Costera. And I hope you'll swing by, because it's an amazing, amazing place full of just all sorts of cool things, including great food and drinks and amazing local art. So, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there, ring the bell, you know the drill. And if you want to hear my own music, please click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.